This tutorial demonstrates how to configure a Gaminine mailer project for sending a series of follow-up emails. This implements a drip marketing solution. Here you can see the welcome panel. Click on create new project, then manual setup. On the headers branch, we're going to enter the emails from header. and the subject. On the SMTP branch, we're going to tell Gaminine Mailer how to send the emails. Specify your mail server's name, and the username and password. The follow-up system requires that the mailing list be located in a database. This is configured on the database branch. First, check the Use Database box. The easiest way to specify the database is with a connection string. Check the Use Connection String box. Then click the Browse button to select the database driver and file. For an access database, we'll choose the Access Driver. Click the Select button to choose the database file. Now we need to specify which database table holds the mailing list. This table should have one recipient per row. Next we need to specify which table column holds the email address. We must also specify a primary key. This column must have a unique value in each row. There are two special columns that are required by the follow-up system. We can create them in Gaminine Mailer's View Results Set tool located on the database menu. From the column menu, choose Create Column. We need one numeric column, which we'll name Follow-up Index, and one date column, which we'll name follow-up date. These columns are used to keep track of which follow-up the recipient will receive next and when. For testing, we're going to add our own email address to this table. Choose Add Row from the table menu and enter your own email address in the recipient column. We can leave our two new columns blank, which will result in us receiving the first follow-up immediately. Choose Save and Exit from the File menu to close this window. We are now ready to configure the follow-up system. Click on the Database Setup branch. Check the Follow-up System Enabled box. Choose the Follow-up Index column and the Follow-up Date column. Click the Add button once for each email in the series of follow-ups. The names are for your reference only and are not seen by the recipient. Change the Days column to reflect how many days should pass before the next follow-up is sent. We'll send the first follow-up to go out immediately, the second two days later, and the third four days after that. Fill in the subject column if you want to override the subject that was specified on the headers branch. Now it's time to specify the content of each follow-up. Go to the HTML body branch. At the top, choose which of the follow-ups you wish to edit. You may either specify an external file or enter one directly into the project. Here you can see the raw HTML code. Click the Edit tab to edit the body like a word processor. You may find the template designer tool of use as demonstrated in the Send tutorial. Repeat for each additional follow-up.
At this point, we're ready to send the emails. First, we should save our project to a file. Choose Save Project As from the File menu. Name the project and click Save. To send today's follow-ups, we must run a Send operation. Click the Send Toolbar icon or press F5. On the preview window, you can see that our test recipient is going to receive the first follow-up. Click the Send Messages icon to complete the send. If we now look at the database using the View Results Set tool, we can see that the follow-up index and follow-up date columns have been updated. If we run another send operation now, our test recipient will not be eligible to receive another email because it is too soon. Once you have thoroughly tested the project and are satisfied that it is working correctly, you may want to schedule it to automatically run once per day. Choose Scheduler from the Tools menu. Click the Create button. Browse for your project. Click on the Daily Radio button. The daily interval of 1 is correct. Click OK. Keep in mind your computer must be on for the scheduled task to launch. If you encounter any problems, please contact us. This concludes the Gamline Mailer follow-up tutorial.